Welcome Libra to your November 2017 forecast by me, Ellie from HypnoU. If you'd like a private reading with me, use the link below. If you'd like your whole year forecast, $4.99, Vimeo On Demand, use the link below. So this month on the 15th of November through to the 11th of January is Mercury retrograde, including the shadow periods. Now I feel like this one's going to have a nod to March 2016. That same volatile area, same emotions, same people, same situations as well. So if you're going away for travel be there early be careful of your bags make sure that there's no cancellations groundings of planes rights uh, strike action in any kind of industry at all be careful with your phone your computer your car and even your ankles uh, you know speeding tickets brakes um, wild weather um, contracts Check the fine print. People are likely during this Mercury retrograde period to stop, start, U-turn, change of mind, and mistakes and confusions and blow-ups will occur. Uh, also, uh, this month, um, the communication might slow down. It might be a bit sketchy. So you think you're making progress, and then you're going backwards as well. So when you're work, we do have the Nine of um, Swords. So you, Libra, this is for Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Gemini, Aquarius. Or Libra uh, this is wanting to expand in your career or want to expand financially or even uh, in university and finding that you are awake at night worrying about it too much on your mind uh, worrying will I get in will I get the job will I be able to expand wanting to make this change wanting to expand and really worrying about it it's very slow there's been some difficult areas there this is about worrying about the details, worrying about work obsession. This is about feeling that you've made a mistake and laying awake worrying about that. Um, so this could also be that this is just a very uh, mental time for you where there's so much on your mind, you're not getting much sleep. But this is about expanding on your finances, your career, or your study as well. At home, you do have the uh, Knight of Wands. This is with a fire sign, Sagittarius so or Aries. Now, this is making great strides forward during this Mercury retrograde. Now, Mercury retrograde brings people, situations, emotions, opportunities, things you look, got looked over, things you didn't act on, back from the past possibly could be an ex um, this is some this if this is a man is saying go for it if this is a partner saying go for it uh, this is about um, jumping on that home if you're wanting to buy a home jumping on that home financially this is saying there's quick progress with wealth so whether you are stressing or not there is going to be finances there this is great leaps and bounds forward as a family there may be a big move as well you might make the last minute decision well I want to move across country I want to move across the a state I want to move towns I, I found this house and I'm homesick I want to go home you know wherever there's a quick jump great success will follow this is also saying that you might have an unexpected visitor or run into someone unexpectedly where there is some really great information or something that can really push things through a lot faster for you as well also this is deliverance of news which is really going to boost your attitude and confidence and even your money for some of you with your health you do have the ace of wands so straight away for some of you I'm going to say that you are be very, very careful if you sleep with someone very quickly because I feel like for a small select few of you, um, you'll get pregnant. All right, so the first house is for head, face, upper lip, upper jaw, cerebellum, and brain. This card here says divinely you'll have the money for that. Divinely you're going to have great expectations from that, that this is going to deliver excellent progress for you. You're going to absolutely love it. It is also the ace, um, which is about fresh new starts, fresh new cycle, something you've worked on, and now you're going to be able to deliver that. This is uh, going to have great results. Now, for some of you, you might even win a trip overseas, and what are you going to have, um, you know, that uh, surgery or get those things fixed uh, if this is about you putting money into that area you're going to love the results now with your health uh, with your home and love partnerships you do have the two so this is again with this fire sign Sagittarius Leo or Aries this is about um, meeting Mr. or Mrs. Wright this is a beautiful um, collaboration this is the two partnership this is a great fit emotionally. You have the same foundations. Um, wonderful. So those of you that are single, meeting someone who is uh, very, very important for you and will last the distance. Those of you in a committed relationship, this is about... Um, milestones and celebrating um, that time together maybe you've been apart for a while and you've come back together whether that be because of work or whether that be because of anything coming back together and celebrating as a couple now you're drawing virtue messages from the angels Libra is 
you have the uh, sun in the second house all month and that is about partnerships so maybe you are stressing and worrying about wanting to make the team wanting to get the job wanting to fit in wanting to get that loan because two is about self-worth and also about partnerships to do with finances or in love you have the sun on that all month so this is the prepare preparing for that you are worrying and stressing about that for some of you this is about a mistake you made and you think you're going to lose your job um, if you do lose your job you're immediately going to partner up after and it's going to be wonderful because you have the sun in that area all month so beautiful month for partnerships for you Yep, there you go. There's your win. Your win with the um, group over industry. Uh, great win and victory for you. This is again, um, do watch your sun, moon and rising because I got these exact three cards for another sign earlier. This is uh, your children. If you work with children, something that you say uh, you're going to have a child this month where something you say is really going to make a difference. If you have children, this is about one of them may be sick. Maybe you're missing them because you're away for work. Um, but this is keeping an eye on your children this month. And you're saying that you've asked for help, that you are a light worker, that you'll shine, uh, that, you're, that you need to shine, and to follow the clues and uh, through your dreams that the angels are providing for you. So be kind to you and those you love, and I shall see you next month.